Hello and welcome to another tutorial by Camitech Corporation. My name is Carlos and I'll be helping you today with a couple of questions that I've had some customers ask me. So we're going to talk today about power management. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but every once in a while when your computer is on, you know, standby or if your computer is not doing anything, if you're not working on your computer, sometimes the monitor turns off or the computer goes to sleep or hibernates and today I'm going to show you how to remove that and how to fix that so that next time you're using your computer and you have a program running or something important that you can't turn it off your computer won't shut down on you or won't hibernate or sleep so first thing we're gonna do is go to start right we're gonna click start it's a little round icon if you're using Windows XP um, you'll be like a little square shaped I believe um, next we're gonna go to um, control panel and we're gonna click on it now if it's the first time you're here you might see something like this okay um, if, you see some, if you see something like this you know don't freak out it's not different it's just that you can click on large icons or small icons you can choose right here whichever you want to see we're gonna click on large icons for show purposes but um, I believe there's some, um, I believe in um, Windows XP, what you will see is um, something like this and on the top left hand corner you might see um, classic view, uh, option for you click, click on classic view so you just click there and it will show these. Um, let's scroll all the way to the bottom, it's by alphabet order, so we're going to scroll all the way to P, right, M, N, um, and then P and we're gonna go to power options okay now if you're using a laptop this would apply also so you will see the probably the same options and you see the same thing okay so we're gonna click on power options and um, after we click on power and options um, give me one second I see here that my computer is a little slow today I apologize for that but okay here we go so once you see power options popping up you're gonna see um, a couple of plans here um, now on laptops you might see three or four different plans now you have an option to create your own plan I don't suggest you do if you want to play with it go ahead you know go crazy but um, <laughs> um, I usually just grab the first one um, I created my own here, say working plan, and I'll show you how to do that. But um, you can just change your own, you know, your own plan. Just click right here on that right hand side. It says change plan plan settings, or you can create a power plan. Okay, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do a power plan. So we're gonna click on create a power plan on the bottom here. Plan name. We're just gonna click on full power. Um, can adjust to whatever you know suits you there's a power saver there's a high performance um, there's a balanced which most likely it will help you consume some you know power but you know you won't um, keep everything on all times but um, we're gonna do the full power so we're gonna use the high performance option and then he's gonna ask you change settings for the plan full power which is the name that we given we have given um, turn off the display this will turn off the the monitor um, let's put whenever so we're gonna change so that the computer is always on it never turns off this you can change um, to how many minutes or hours that you want and this the di when it talks about the display it only talks about the monitor you won't affect your computer okay I've seen some customer ask me oh if my monitor turned on I mean turned off you know it does my computer lose everything that I had say it hadn't saved um, I tell you it doesn't so it just affects the monitor and then put the computer to sleep on the second part here that affects the computer I put never I had chosen never because that's the high performance that we chose now some computers might have you know five hours to one hour what this mean means is you know after how many minutes you set up to the computer will go to sleep which means it won't turn off but it will literally look like it will turn it turned off but it won't turn off 
Um, after we choose whatever you know timing that we want, I'm gonna put both of them for never, so it never turns off or never goes to sleep. And then I'm gonna cre create. Now, if you're using a laptop, um, you're gonna have two more options. First of all, what happens when you click on the sleep, like right here, um, change when the computer sleeps or this is for the display or for the, the computer sleeps but you will see on the laptop saying um, choose what happens when you close the lid which means that when you close the, the top of the notebook um, you can change it to nothing or you can change it to you know go to sleep shut down or whatever whatever suits you whatever you know makes it easier for you and there's also an option for you to, what happens when you press the power button and also what happens when you press the sleep button so you choose you know it's pretty simple, easy, and obvious. Um, if you want to click on the, um, if you want to press the turn off button, and you know, the computer turns off, you just choose that option. If you want, when you click the power button for the computer to go to sleep, choose that option. And same thing applies for the computer to sleep, and etc. So this is basically what you, you know, what you would do. You will see here that preferred plans. You see here the full power plan that we just created, and make sure it's chosen you know so that the computer would work around this and you know after you're done with this you can just close it and that's it basically that's it your computer will always be on no matter how long it takes if you put never it will never turn off unless it's a power outage which basically <laughs> you won't have power on the house anyway so that concludes our tutorial for today I hope that I have answered some of the questions and helped you with some of the problems that I've seen customers with. Alright, my name is Carlos once again and I'm from Camitech Corporation and have a great day.